Published 1221 EDT, the 3rd of August 2017. Updated 1414 EDT, the 3rd of August 2017. An English punk rocker has claimed he was interrogated by US border officials for six hours and deported back to the UK because he made fun of Donald Trump. Peter Bywaters, frontman of Peter and the Test Tube Babies, said he arrived at San Francisco International Airport but was promptly stopped by passport control. The 56-year-old said officials presented him with pictures of himself dressed as Mr. Trump while on the band's presidential tour in Germany last year, where he was an outspoken critic of the former business tycoon. The East Sussex band were set to play at the Punk Invasion Festival in Santa Ana, Orange County, California on Saturday when Peter was detained. Scroll down for video Peter Bywater's second right claims he was detained by border control and quizzed for six hours before being deported back to Britain yet Mr. Bywater's was detained by border control, quizzed for six hours and then deported back to Britain. Mr. Bywater's said I was trying to get through the border and answered all their questions. They wrote it all down, and must have googled my name because the next thing I knew, they turned the screen around and asked about my band. I started telling them and 30 seconds later, they got the pictures of me as Donald Trump up and it went downhill from there. I was questioned for about 6 hours I arrived at 1.30 p.m. and by 7.30 p.m. I was back on a plane. They escorted me back on a flight and you are not allowed your phone until you are actually on the plane, so I had people wondering where I was. I'm still wondering why it happened, nothing like this has ever happened before. I told them I was an English teacher and I was there to see friends, but they interrogated me for hours. The 56-year-old said he was held by border control because of his impression of Donald Trump, a claim border control strongly deny MR Bywaters said the band has performed in America on a number of occasions with no problems, yet on this occasion guest singers had to fill in for the absent band mate. Mr. Bywaters added someone told me since that Donald Trump had issued an order about tighter controls on people entering the country, and for all I know, there could be a hit list of people who have impersonated or been derogatory about him. I've got no criminal convictions, nothing at all and we've played there a lot over the years since about the early 80s. I'm more bemused than angry about it, but I don't expect a full explanation and the UK border force DIDNT say anything. The band shot to fame in the 1980s with songs such as The Queen Gives Good Blow Jobs, with the group even being played on a John Peel Radio 1 show. The border force cited that he was being paid for his performance at the gig which meant he had the wrong visa and was therefore not allowed to enter the US. US border officials categorically denied claims Mr. Bywaters was denied entry to the US because of his impression of Donald Trump. The border force said that Mr. Bywaters was being paid for his performance at the gig which meant he had the wrong visa and therefore not allowed to enter the USA spokesman for US Customs and Border Protection said claims that on Friday, July 28, 2017, US Customs and Border Protection offices at San Francisco International Airport denied entry into the US of British. National Peter Sean Bywaters because of his public impersonation of the President of the United States are categorically false. In reality, Mr. Bywaters was found inadmissible under Section 212 of the Immigration and Naturalization Act. Mr. Bywaters presented himself as a visa waiver applicant seeking admission as temporary visitor for pleasure for three days. During his admissibility interview, Mr. Bywaters declared under sworn statement that in the past he had performed with a band in cities around the country. Additionally, he stated he is the lead singer for the band and that the purpose of this trip is to perform at Griffith Park, in Los Angeles, California, over the weekend. Mr. Bywaters stated he would be getting paid for this performance. Accordingly, he was found inadmissible to the U.S. and refused admission under the Visa Waiver Program. Foreign entertainers coming to perform and getting paid in the United States must have a P-1 visa. CBP is committed to the fair, impartial and respectful treatment of all international travelers.